What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything going on here in our country that you need to know about here on a daily basis. Uh, in the last video, we literally just uncovered while I was uh, just doing a Google search that uh, my first search here was um, the credit card interest rates had hit a 26-year high and are about to go higher. This was as of September 21st, 2020, uh, this year, 2022. Um, and then this was as, you know, the Fed's raising interest rates. The Fed ra has raised interest rates five times already this year and is going to raise interest rates again this year to combat inflation. And uh, remember that the Fed is a separate entity from the government. Um, and then I found a more recent article, which is as of October 6th, which says credit card interest rates have now reached all-time highs. All-time highs. According to creditcard.com, the national average credit card interest rate is 18.79%. And this was as of two weeks ago. So it could even be creeping up a little bit more here. And the Fed is going to raise interest rates again this year and possibly next year multiple times as well, which means that anybody that has credit card debt is going to be paying even more than the already all-time historic highs than we're already at now. This is more than credit card interest rates have ever been so yeah first of all yikes uh we'll talk about a couple different things there should there be some type of economic support or help uh from the government we'll talk about a couple different things here because well really there is uh if you've been watching my channel there's 33 different states that are sending out inflation relief checks, stimulus checks, or tax rebate checks, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the largest one going on right now is California. Uh, you can see here right from Forbes, uh, California residents receiving their stimulus payments for the state of California starting October 7th. So about uh, two weeks ago, these started going out here. They're up to $1,050. You can see here, California Governor Gavin Newsom signed California's budget uh, for this upcoming year, which uh, includes direct payments of $350 per person up to $1,050 if you have three people in your family for 23 million Californians. Payments started going out October 7th according to the California Franchise Tax Board, confirmed by Forbes Advisor. This is just one of the 33 different states. I actually just did a video uh, with a lot of the different states, I don't know, a dozen or two, um, as many as I could fit in one video. I'll link you to that video here at the end of this video. Um, but there's a lot of states sending out several hundred dollars to over a thousand dollars. Um, and really, we have um, we've already seen three federal stimulus checks. Um, we've had mortgage assistance, rent assistance, utility assistance. In fact, the utility assistance actually goes on every single year. Uh, I actually have a link for you guys down below in the description of this video for rent assistance, mortgage assistance, utility assistance. The rent assistance is a little iffy because it's it's kind of run out in a lot of states. You can still watch the video. Again, it's completely free to watch all my videos. It shows you how to find it in your state. But there was $40 billion of rent assistance from the last stimulus package or two uh, that went out to all states. Okay, um, There's also $9.9 .9 billion of homeowners assistance if you're a homeowner. And there is utility assistance that goes on every single year in every single state that you can apply for to the HEAP programs, the LEAP programs, and the LIHEAP programs. Uh, basically, just kind of they combine them. Some states have different names for them, okay? Uh, and especially going into the winter heating months right now, uh, winter heating is going to be very expensive. 
very expensive. Winter heating uh, is going to be probably the most expensive ever, unfortunately. So uh, I have links for you guys down below in the description of this video. Part of my mission on this channel is to let everybody know about as many programs uh, that there is. Remember that a lot of stimulus is through programs, okay? Everybody just kind of thinks about the the big stimulus checks. That's not really all there is, okay? If you really think about uh, the rent assistance, the mortgage assistance, utility assistance, the state stimulus checks, there's like 33 at least. I really haven't, there could be a few more. I, I, it's just kind of my ballparking of keeping track here in my mind because um, I've seen an article that counted them up and had 30 one or 32, and we've had one or two more since then. So it's somewhere around 33 here this year that have passed state stimulus checks, tax rebate checks, property tax rebate checks, uh, et cetera, here this year, okay? And um, you you know them, you see them. I show them to you directly here on the screen when I cover them. Sometimes I even have the governors speaking directly so you can see it. I always show it to you directly on the screen from news sources and from state government websites and all the good stuff so you guys know it's true. Then I always go over the details here. I'll link you to a video here at the end of the video so you guys can go through one of those videos here with that. The other program here, so you guys, one, one thing we got to kind of talk about here is that mortgage rates are now at 20-year highs because of what they have raised interest rates to, which is really bad for anybody trying to sell their home or buy a new home, or move to a new area, or move to a new home. And mortgage demand has now dropped to a 25-year low as interest rates climb. So this is really costing a lot of people a lot more money. So mortgage demand, 25-year low. Mortgage rates at a 20-year high. Credit card interest rates are at historic highs now, all-time highs, the highest they have ever been with the average credit card interest rate at 18.8%. I want to just give you guys how this works. I'll give you a quick rundown in case you guys don't realize this. For round numbers here, okay, this is just simple math, simple interest, okay? If you have $10,000 of credit card debt, and you're paying, remember, the average interest rate is 18.8%, but we're going to take 20% because we're going to round up 1%, 1.2% more. If you pay 20% interest per year, okay, this is 18.8% per year, so we're going to round up by 1.2% more. If you pay 20% interest per year times, uh, let me go back here, times 0.2, which is 20% interest. You're paying $2,000 a year, 20% interest, on $10,000 a year every single year. That's 20% interest every single year. So what that means is, is that every five years, you're basically paying 100% interest on your debt. So if you don't pay off your entire debt, in five years, if you've been carrying a credit card balance for more than five years, you have officially paid more than you paid for, more than you bought, okay? So to give you an idea here, this is why they say credit card debt is, is the worst debt you can have. And if you go to like a, like a debt counselor or, or somebody, you know, um, who who would charge you for this, the first thing they would do is have you pay down your credit card debt because basically every five years, you're completely paying for anything you bought on your credit cards over again. So if you bought $5,000 in stuff on your credit card debt, in credit cards, you're paying $5,000 again, okay? So if you bought $5,000 in stuff, every five years, you're paying $5,000 in interest at, if your interest rate is 20%, okay? So that $5,000 in stuff you bought, you still have to pay the 5,000. 
And now you also have to pay $5,000 in interest as well. So now you have to pay $10,000 for that $5,000 in stuff you bought over five years of time at a 20% interest rate. Okay. And remember that the average interest rate right now is 18.8%. So a 20% interest rate is not that far from the average. Again, I was doing that just for simple numbers and for simple math. And honestly, probably in a few months, the average interest rate is going to be 20%. And really, that's the average interest rate. That means some people are higher than that and some people are lower than that. If you're at 15% interest rate, it's not that great. I mean, you're, you're, you're a little bit lower. If you're at 10% interest rate, still, um, you know, for example, if you went to a, a stock market investor and said, I'll give you a guaranteed 10% interest rate, they would take that all day, twice on Sunday. Uh, for example, if you go to get a CD, certificate of deposit, the guaranteed interest rates that they give you are only three to four percent. Three to four percent to give you guys an idea. So this is where banks get rich is they they take in money on CDs at three to four percent or in savings accounts at one percent and you were really literally a year ago it's at less than one percent. And then on credit card debt They'll make money off you at 15 or 20 percent, or maybe if you got really good credit, I don't know, 10 or 12 percent or something like that. Okay. Now this is why they say the rich get rich and the poor get poor because the problem is is that um, the rich won't pay any credit card debt. What they'll do is they'll use their credit cards and they just pay them off every month. They just set their credit card to auto pay. And they actually get paid by the credit cards. They'll actually have rewards. They just pay it off every month. Um, so whatever they charge, they just pay. It's like a, basically like a cash system. And um, they actually get rewards. They get cash back. So whatever they charge, it's, it's like paying. It's like going and paying cash, but they just use their credit card because it's easier. Or whatever they buy online, they use their credit card. And whenever the bill comes due, it's just it's just paid. Just like using cash, okay? You're just not spending more than you make because you're not spending more than you have, okay? Um, but the problem is, is when you use credit cards, you're actually costing yourself more money. So if you go to buy $100 in groceries, you're actually costing yourself more money because that $100 in groceries is actually going to cost you $150 or $200 over the long run because of the interest you're going to pay. Yeah, it's it's a really it's a really vicious cycle. And the question here is, how do you get out of it? And the question is, will um, will we see some government help? Yeah. So again, we've seen thirty three different states right now that are giving back help to millions and millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of Americans. Actually, the California state stimulus check program is twenty three million Americans alone because they're the largest uh, state. I'll link you to a video here that does literally goes over dozens of states here. Uh, also, we have the Student Loan Forgiveness Program. That's a really big one, which is ten dollars to $20,000 of student loan forgiveness, which is basically debt relief for over 40 million Americans, uh, which was just announced by President Biden for it's like 43 million Americans. I mean, it's literally, and for over 20 million Americans, it's going to completely wipe out their debt because that's what they owe or less. So it's just going to completely knock out their bill. It's like knocking out a credit card that you won't have to pay anymore. This is now available for you to apply on. You can go to, the website is, go to studentaid.gov, studentaid.gov, not .com, .gov, and you can see here, apply for one-time student loan debt relief based on income. As long as you have a federal student loan and you make less than $125,000 or two fifty dollars if you're a married couple, you are eligible. You are eligible. It's literally that simple. You just click there and you go to apply. You just put your name and your information here. Make sure it's an official government website here. 
it says right here, so you make sure you go to the correct website, studentaid.gov, and apply here. This is just one of the federal programs that's going on here. Remember, there's rent assistance, mortgage assistance, utility assistance. This is part of my mission on my channel here is to let everybody know about all the programs that always come up. Click Submit, and you're in the queue. Now, the one thing to be concerned about here is that, uh, yeah, this right here, a conservative group, which is a Republican group, conservative in this case means Republican, just asked the Supreme Court to block Biden's student loan forgiveness, saying that it is critical that the relief is halted this week. <sighs> You know, this is, I, I'm just, I feel so bad that they're trying to block <laughs> relief for 40 some million Americans, seeing as how bad the economy is and how bad interest rates are and how bad people are struggling. 60% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck or worse. Um, I mean, and and there's and there there's Republican groups out there trying to block this. So remember, there's no, they're not going to raise any taxes at all. It's literally just providing relief to over 40 million Americans. It's just like the rent assistance and the mortgage assistance and the utility assistance and all these different programs that went out: the Paycheck Protection Program, the stimulus checks, the 33 different states that are sending out checks right now. None of that raised taxes. And and we're trying to block this for 40 million, 40 plus million Americans. So the Supreme Court literally could interject and remember that the Supreme Court has six Republicans on it and three Democrats. So I will keep you up to date on this because this could happen. The also the other thing you gotta consider here is that will we see another stimulus check targeted? towards low-income Americans because of how bad things are right now, how bad interest rates are, how bad this is. I mean, um, in the past, we actually seen in past recessions that, yes, there was, um, before this pandemic, there was stimulus checks. Yeah, that's right. A lot of people forget this. I know it's a long time ago. But uh, there was stimulus checks back in 2001 and 2008. Roughly 130 million households received tax rebates in the latter effort, with single Americans getting $600 and couples getting up to $1,200 at the cost of around $100 billion. Certain parents received $300 for each minor child as well. Uh, and there was also one here in 2001 as well that taxpayers received a tax rebate between July and September in 2001. And that was actually under President George W. Bush. And remember, 2001, 2008, the last two bad recessions before this one. So really, we had the pandemic. And then it looked like we were coming out of it. And then we've basically had this economic fallout. If you watched my last video, which, which you should, um, it's, things are just really bad here in the U.S. and worldwide. We're basically seeing a, a, a type of economic collapse. It's, I mean, it's not, it's not like the, the whole country is just collapsing. But in a way... In a type of way, it is. I mean, look at mortgage rates and mortgage demand. We're at a 25-year high and a 20-year high. Um, credit card rates at an all-time high. 60% of people living paycheck to paycheck or can't pay their bills. I mean, in a way, this is a type of economic collapse. Now, honestly, this, this is cause for help for more people. The problem here is that the, the, the divide between Republicans and Democrats and, and the misconception that these stimulus checks caused more inflation. That's the really the only thing preventing them from sending out more help. The, the problem here is that if you look at all around the world, you'll see that 
the inflation is everywhere. So even with countries that didn't send out any help to the people at all are still dealing with 40, 50 year high record inflation. So the question here is that the countries that didn't help out anybody are still doing. I mean, Turkey has 83% inflation. We have 8% inflation. They have 83% inflation. So countries that didn't help out their people at all are still dealing with the same inflation or even higher. So the question is, do you help out your people or not? And you're still going to deal with it. And I get that people are going to blame Biden or blame whoever they want to, depending on whoever's side of the you know, aisle they're on. But the reality of it is, is if you look at any other country, Canada, Europe, Russia, Germany, China, anywhere, they're all dealing with the same inflation and the same gas price. I mean, just literally just Google any country and go look at it. And, and you know, they're either like maybe a little bit better, a little bit worse or far worse. So, yeah, the reality of it is you either help your people or you just let them suffer. You let me know your thoughts here in the comments. Thankfully, we are seeing things like student loan forgiveness, help for over 40 million people. Uh, if you're one of those 40 million people or someone from your family, that's like literally one of the greatest programs that's ever going to help them ever. Uh, the child tax credits, one of the greatest programs that ever helped them ever. The Social Security raise that's going to be coming uh, is going to be the largest raise for Social Security in 41 years. And Medicare Part B is actually going to go down this year, which is really, really great as well. Largest raise ever, Medicare Part B going down, which is good because it's not the largest <laughs> Medicare Part B raise in 40 years ever as well. And we got 33 states sending out stimulus checks, tax relief checks, inflation relief checks as well. So there is a lot of good things going on. And I'll keep you up to date here on this on our YouTube channel. So make sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do so, so you don't miss out on new videos here on our channel. Click the bell icon after you subscribe, and I'll keep you up to date here. You can click this video here to see the uh, list, or as much as I can fit in one video, of different states that are sending out checks to millions of Americans. And here is another video I just did about uh, what Russia just did to Alaska and our country. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.